Today I'm gonna to show you how the 100% stack area chart and also line enhancement features work in Power BI. These features were released in the April 2024 Power BI update and I'm so ready to play with them. So let's do this. Let's get started with the 100% stack area chart. This is actually a new visual, and this visual displays the relative percentage of multiple data series in stack areas where the total always equals 100%. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna copy this visual. Control C, Control V, it's right here. And then if you go over here, over the visualization section, here's the option, 100% stack area chart. Let's hit this option and then automatically we can see here changes. Let's remove this filter here. So what are some of the benefits of this visual? If you take a look at the visual on the left, which is a 100% stack column chart, you can see the information here for these three companies. But if you wanna see more details in terms of periods, you have to scroll towards the right or towards the left, which is fine, but it doesn't give you the whole picture, right? And then if we select the visual on the right, you don't have to do that anymore. So everything is consolidated there in just one visual. And you can see data here since inception towards the end. So let's keep playing with this visual. If you go over here over lines, you can also change colors if you want. You can customize Amazon, for example, you can do that. You can make it dotted, dash, whatever you wanna do. You can just keep playing with this, right? And then you can also play with the join type. It can be mirror, it can be round, that one that we had before, and also you can have bevel. There you go. So let's leave this as round for now. And then you can also play with width. There are so many options here that you can play with. You can also change color if you want. A different color, I don't like this color. Go over here and make the changes. Any color that you may want. See, so it's changing. And then let's keep exploring here. Let's go over shade area. You can also customize this. If you wanna see Amazon transparency, you can play with it. Let's say just 90%, boom. Or perhaps just 70%. You can do whatever you want there. So this is awesome. It helps you tell your story, right? That shade area. And now you can also add markers if you want. You can also add labels here which for this particular case, this is gonna be percentages. You can also add serious labels if you want. You can do anything now. So this is great. Kudos for the Power BI Core Visuals team. So they are doing a really good job here. You can do anything here, like I said before, keep playing with this visual and let me know what you think. So now let's move on and talk about line enhancements. Line enhancements, this is one of my favorite improvements, okay? Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So let's play with it. Control C, Control V. Check this out. And let's go over lines here. Check this out. Let's get started with Canada. For Canada, let's go over color here. Black is fine. And then here, let's select friends. For friends, let's do the same thing here. And then let's do the same for the other countries, Germany. And then also Mexico. And then here, we're gonna select USA as well, black. Check this out. Once you do that, let's go over here, all, and then check this out, transparency, 90%. Boom. So it changed for all of them, right? So now, if you wanna highlight a specific country, you can do that. So let's do this for the US, okay? Let's go over here again, US, and then let's say that we wanna highlight with this red color 
check this out transparency I don't want to see transparency here boom and then you can also keep playing with this okay if you go over here let's go over the serious labels let's do that now you can see the countries here so once we do this we don't need to have the legend so let's turn this off and then you can also keep customizing this okay let's keep going serious labels let's select here values and let's make this red as well perhaps 12 you want to highlight this and then in bold there you go so as you can see we are basically here playing with these new features making this story more compelling and we can keep going here if you go back over lines there is more here go over here all and then line let's go over line style it can be dashed it can be dotted or you can leave just a solid let's leave a solid for now and then join type it can also be meter here it can be bevel or it can be round let's leave it round for now and then let's go over the interpolation type three different options here linear smooth step let's select smooth here for a second huh this looks so much better and then you also have another option here monotone and also cardinal if you select cardinal you can play with the tension here 60%, 46%, it gives you more flexibility. And this is helpful when you have data labels here, okay? So you can just play with this and that way you can visualize the data labels better. All right, so let's keep going here. So let's leave this as monotone for now. There's another feature here, really, really worth mentioning. I'm gonna show you here. Shade area, check this out now you can also go over here and then play with transparency right so let's say that we want to see 90 percent transparency boom perhaps 95 percent transparency you can do that as well and you can also play with the countries here right say so just canada you can just customize this a little bit better like i said before the features are there it's just up to you it's it's about the story that you want to tell with your data Something really important here as well. I was forgetting about this. So if we go back to lines, check this out. Stepped. See right there? Here, once we select this step option, we have three more options here in terms of step position. We can do this before. And let me, before we do that, let's activate here the markers and that way you can visualize this better. Huh. Check this out. Let's go back to line again. Now, before, boom. Center, boom. After, boom. And then if you go back to the to the markers, you can also apply different colors based on the country, right? Go over here. So this is going to be to all. And you can just keep playing with this as well. So check this out. Let's select Canada, for example. You can also customize the color if you want here, right? It's just something lighter, boom. And then you can also go to, to the other countries and play with it, but you get the point. There you have it, my friends. Really, really powerful features released in the April 2024 Power BI updates. If you found this tutorial helpful, as always, please, share with your friends, leave your questions and comments below, check these tutorials out, really good content there as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys for your time and see you in my next tutorial.